Hello everyone, I am Chef Mike and today I will teach you one of my favorite winter soup smoked pumpkin with parsnip, coconut and chili. So let's do it! So I have here one pumpkin, it's Hokkaido, but you can also use different kinds like butternut squash or classic beef pumpkin and I will use it in two ways, dices for my garnish and the rest for the soup. The first thing I have to do is to peel the pumpkin, cut it into the quarters and clean the middle part. Then I cut bigger chunks and spread them on baking paper. Drizzle them with oil and bake them at around 200 degrees Celsius until I get nice color on them. The rest of the pumpkin I use for the garnish, so I cut nice small dices. There are more ways how you can do it, you just need a little bit skills with a knife. And do you know who loves a pumpkin? My food inspector! So let's check out if the quality is good and let's cook them. For this size it will be probably a few minutes, so I put them in the boiling water and chop one shallot in the meantime. Then I cook the shallots for one minute with the pumpkin and strain everything. I want to put some chili for the taste and the color, so I chop small brunoise and mix it in. And to finish it, I use a bit of oil and salt and my garnish will be ready for the plating. And now let's start with the soup. I chop a few more shallots and garlic and I sear them in the pot. For this dish, there is no exact recipe from me like always. For example, the amounts of the shallots or garlic you can adjust for you. Do you like garlic? Put more. If you don't like it, don't use it. Focus always with me on steps and techniques and use the amounts to your taste. Because only through this you will learn actually to cook and not just copy random recipes. If you want a bunch of recipes I recommend you to buy a book and don't waste time on my channel. So when I got a bit of color on the shallots I put my bacon pumpkin, season it with garlic powder and salt, cover it with chicken stock and I will cook it for around 20 minutes until everything is soft. In the end I also put fresh thyme, but because I didn't want to put any green color, I roll it in the cloth so I can take it out later on easily. So the soup is cooking and now let's start with my parsley root garnish. I will use it again in two ways. I will make easy white puree with coconut and then chips for decoration. First, I peel few parsley roots. For the chips, I will do nice thin slices with a peeler and the rest of the root I chop roughly. I cook it in boiling water until soft and the slices I will deep fry in the oil until they get crispy. Dry them on paper towel, put some salt on them and I will use them later on for the decoration. At this time is soup cooked enough, so I take out the time, put heavy cream in and blend everything inside the blender. And same philosophy as before. If you put more cream, you get better texture and taste. If you put less cream, you get better color and make it cheaper and probably healthier. But you choose, not my recipe. At the end, I finish the seasoning with salt and white wine vinegar. In general, the soup can be more sweet or sour, that's up to you, 
but in this exact recipe you don't want to make it too sweet because the puree and chips are already sweet. And the soup is done. Now let's finish the puree. I transfer my soft parsley root into the blender. Add lemon juice, coconut cream, salt and mix everything properly. I transfer it to the bottle so I can do nice dots later on. If you blitz it properly, I don't think so you have to use strainer this time. And because I want to do smoke at pumpkin soup, I will smoke it at the end. That's the best and easiest way to put smoke and taste and aroma for me. So I put clean film on the pan and mix the soup with the smoke. I leave it around 5 minutes and then do it again. I will do it three times, but I can do it even more to get stronger smoky taste. And I have everything ready, so let's do the plating. I start with my pumpkin garnish in the middle, then a few dots of my parsley puree. And after that I need to put the soup because later on will be difficult. I finish it with my chips and dill on the top and the soup will be done. By the way guys, if you're thinking about working with me or getting my coaching as the gift for someone, apply on my website now because over the Christmas I will summarize my schedule for the next few months and then from the new year the application will be closed for some time. If you're serious, let me know now so we can keep a space for you if needed. And if you want to get inspiration for another pumpkin soup, check out my video from last year and learn my recipe with vanilla, dates and citruses. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.